Hello, this is Minecralix. How is everybody today? And today, this is the first episode of Redstone Ready Super Flat Survival. I'm starting a new Let's Play series. It's going to be so fun, guys. It's going to get so much awesome things. We're going to totally have lots of fun in this map. And unlike many of my other survival maps, I'm going to be actually... Bonus chest off, allow cheats on, generate structures on, bonus tested for noobs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into um, super flat presets. Um, and yeah, guys, this is going to be much more fun than like my skyblock map, for example, because I'm actually going to be able to go to the end. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in strong hold, and then right after that, comma, dungeon. And what's that going to do is it's going to actually um, spawn in a stronghold and a dungeon. So that will allow us to go to the end, which will be amazing, amazing, amazing. And we're going to be able to kill the Ender Dragon, being able to completely finish the Redstone Ready Super Flat preset by going into the end and killing the Ender Dragon. Now I have no idea, it just glitches out like that right here when I just, I, I just like had it now, but then... Yeah, for example, like right here it says stronghold and mine shaft. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Well, except the mine shaft. Let's see presets. I'm just gonna reset that. So stronghold dungeon, and then that should create dungeons and strongholds for us. And what I'm going to do is create this new world. And since we can survive in a we can't, since we can't survive without wood or anything, we can only survive for a very short amount of time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get myself one dirt. I'm going to give myself a sapling. Well, I'm actually not going to give myself a sapling. I'm just going to plant the sapling. And right over here, right like this, it's bone meal sapling. And this is what our starting point will be, guys. This is going to be our thumbnail for the remaining time of this let's play because it's a very great thumbnail and it exactly describes this world because all it has is a tree all right guys now that we have spawned into the world wink wink because i actually technically just um changed my game mode to game mode zero but i'll just say that i spawned because I don't want to be cheating since it's kind of cheating being in the creative inventory, but then without the creative inventory, without the tree, we wouldn't be able to accomplish anything in this Let's Play at all. So, note one thing that I'd like... Yes, we got a sapling. One thing that I'd like to note is that notice the color of the leaves inside this map, um, inside this super flat survival preset, because if I go into F3, you can probably see Biome Desert and... Um, the leaves and the grass actually take different, like, it, it's, it's differently colored. The leaves and the grass, they have a different color for each biome. Like, if I was in a forest, the leaves would be much more greener. And looks like we already got three saplings, which is just simply amazing, amazing, guys. And I'll just leave the dirt right here to mark the starting point of our Let's Play. Now, let me just convert all of that into logs. Into, I mean, uh, all those logs into elk wood planks. Of course, get crafting table going. Let's see. Uh, plop it down somewhere right here. It's going to be a good place. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some sticks. Make uh, a pickaxe. Achievement time to mine. How many times have I done this already? And I keep getting these stupid achievements. So let me see. So... Yeah, so I'll just start mining down right over here, and this is a bit, this, this Let's Play is just a, a bit different than most of my Let's Plays, because I don't really survive in super flat presets. This is my first super flat preset survival, although I did want to do vanilla survival, but I just decided to go into Redstone Ready Super Flat Survival, because I felt like it. And this looks like an extremely challenging map, guys. And, oh my god, am I stupid. I just forgot to replant my sapling. The most important thing is to replant the sapling, because while we're mining, we can get more saplings. So, anyway, the reason I decided to start this Let's Play is because I this seemed like a very, very difficult thing to do. Basically, like, mining um, 
this seems like a very difficult thing to do because I mean we all we have here is a tree um, so that means we get wood saplings and some solid blocks over here so we get sandstone and stone and because if you guys remember at the beginning of the let's play when I was showing the survival preset I saw that it has three layers of stone on here it has 52 layers of um, sandstone here and three layers of stone so should we be all fine guys we can make stone tools we can make furnaces and all of that without a cobblestone generator this is definitely and looks like my pickaxe broke which is very very bad and what's gonna happen is there can be a ton of mobs spawning down here which I don't need but I don't have anything else to do except bury myself down in here so uh, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to make another stone uh, no, I mean another wood pickaxe before I dig down to the stone. And let's see at or why. And oh my god, guys, I'm so sorry that it's so dark, but I can't do anything about it because I don't have torches. Well, I I don't have I don't have um I don't have the stone for a furnace to make charcoal. And even if I did, wood is way too expensive now to waste it on torches. So every time I will go outside, I will have to cap this area off just in case because what's going to happen is the mobs are just going to start spawning in here and just start ruining everything and looks like our Y is at 29 so that means we're going to have to dig way down which is very very bad because looks like I still haven't hit the stone yet but what I'm thinking guys is uh, what should I what should I use to build my mop grinder. Should I use just sandstone because it's much faster to mine and because it's much easier to get? Or should I use um, cobblestone just because uh, cobblestone is much better against creepers and much stronger? And um, But uh, on the other hand, sandstone is about as strong as against explosions just as cobblestone is. Um, and I can't say that cobblestone is longer lasting because, to be honest, guys, every block lasts the same amount of time in Minecraft as every other block. Unless, of course, it's leaves because then in that case the leaves will decay and that's the only block that actually decays. Well, other than that, other than Minecraft trivia, we still have not reached the bottom of this map yet and we still have not reached the stone yet which means no stone pickaxe which means we'll have to make more and more of the more and more of these wooden pickaxes one thing which i really don't like in here is that the wood is so rare but of course that makes the map harder which makes it much much more easier and of course all that jumping up and down will cause to lose hunger and of course the only source of hunger replenishment we will have in a while is we will have zombie flesh from just killing zombies and and guys the danger with this world also is that it, it is just at like if you go out at night oh my god what what the what, what did i just do oh yeah i just accidentally I, I cannot see anything like I, I literally cannot I just turned off my lamp my desk lamp because I couldn't see anything oh yeah now I can see much better so anyway this this super flat preset it has just such a huge number of mobs spawning like when night falls there's just is, this is just going to be so much mobs you can be like five creepers five skeletons five zombies five spiders all in one place it's just gonna be crazy guys we won't be able to go outside and we won't be able to and yes guys it looks like we have hit stone and now we're getting cobblestone which is so so amazing guys Let's see is this oh oh yeah that was um yeah that was just that wasn't bedrock i sometimes mistake bedrock with um stone so anyway i will just mine out all the stone at this level here until my pickaxe breaks and then in that case what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go up there to take to craft up a stone pickaxe for efficiency because wood here is very very expensive and i don't know why the hell not why i did not take my crafting table with me because i completely shut off but what's going to happen is there's going to be a ton of mobs down here spawning, which is going to be horrible for us. And I really hope that doesn't pose a threat to us. 
and we are really really low on wood all we will have to we'll basically i'm just gonna yeah i'm just gonna change all these to sticks yeah so we have 14 sticks so that's a good about let's see so that's about seven pickaxes which is pretty good but considering we're also gonna have to get torches and we're gonna have to well no not torches well considering we're gonna have to also craft a sword yeah the first thing um we're gonna have to do is craft a sword because if we go down there and there's like 20 mobs down there then what's gonna happen is we're gonna die so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna craft up some pickaxes probably all the pickaxes i can let's see all like this let me just shift click all that in and shift click that in yeah, it looks like we've got a pretty decent amount of pickaxes going here, and we still can get one more just in case. And this wooden pickaxe will just be simply used for um, when we need fuel to make to make um, torches for I mean to make charcoal for torches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and plop my crafting table down and continue mining away and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply mine until I get enough until I get enough cobblestone to get a furnace going and I don't want to bore you guys out and and there seems to be already some spawns going here and by spawns I mean a bat spawn here and I'm so glad that a creeper did not spawn here would be completely messed up because since this map since we're not going to be able to get any food in this map very soon, we will starve, so we can't replenish our health, and then we're just going to be at low health all the time, so we have to conserve our health as much as we can, and both of our hunger, but conserving hunger is definitely a much harder task, because we do not have anything to eat, and then eventually we will get down to zero hunger, which will get us down to half a heart of health which will be the worst because then what's gonna happen is we're gonna be one hit kill but there are definitely some advantages to this super flat survival except skyblock because if I die in skyblock what's gonna happen is I'm gonna respawn on the top of the void if I didn't sleep yet I'm gonna respawn in the middle of the void and then I'm never gonna be able to get to the island back again but thanks to the fact that I'm in but thanks to the fact that I'm inside sky um but uh, excuse me, but um, since the fact that I'm right now in a super flat world, what's gonna happen is if I die, I'm gonna respawn somewhere close to the to my area of death, which will allow me to get my items back. But maybe they would be destroyed by a creeper's explosion. But anyway, we still have to do as I'm still gonna do as much as I can in order to make sure we don't get hurt or don't get too um, or don't get to zero hunger which the hunger part will be much harder like I said before because right now my only source of food is um, rotten flesh and one thing I forgot to mention guys is that I don't know if you noticed but in my one block survival let's play I have um, actually a one grass and one dirt but in this world I don't have any grass which means I'm not gonna be able to get any flowers or any wheat seeds so then you're probably asking mine Kralix yeah let me get another pickaxe so you're probably asking mine Kralix well how are you gonna grow and farm food well if anyone's asking that that's a very great question because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually when I make my mob grinder I'm gonna mm, I'm gonna make it one hit kill so what's gonna happen is that when I'm gonna make it one hit kill what's gonna happen is that it's going to be like when I ki kill the zombies, there's a very small chance that the zombies drop um, potato or a carrot as a rare drop. And instead of eating that carrot or potato, we will plant it on the one dirt we have and then just use a dispenser and a redstone clock to instantly bone me of that for food. And I really like cooked potatoes as food in Minecraft. It's compact, it's easy to make, but it requires... Um, a fuel source because we all know that we need to cook the cooked potatoes in Minecraft but of course I uh, when I will get bone meal that will be very very easy since what's gonna happen is that I'm going to be able to just simply bone meal away at all the trees and then th that one dirt is gonna be basically the center of the whole map because I will grow trees and grow food on it so it's gonna be multi-purpose I'm gonna use the redstone clock uh, and bone meal dispenser for both tree growth and potato and 
um, uh, carrot growth. So anyway, guys, I'm basically let me just organize my inventory real quick. And what's gonna happen is there's gonna be probably a ton of mobs spawning here. And yeah, we're on normal difficulty. I'm not gonna put it to hard. I'm only gonna set it to hard when I'm gonna make my mob grinder. But what I'm doing right now, if anyone probably wondering, what I'm doing right now is I'm simply collecting enough cobblestone to build my mob grinder. And that's going to be a ton of cobblestone because I'm gonna need somewhere around one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm gonna need around more than five stacks full of more cobblestone. So we are definitely gonna have to mine out a large portion of the blocks here, of the stone here. And if anyone is wondering, this map does not have ores in it, which makes it even harder. This is a skyblock-like map because this doesn't have any ores in it. The only difference is that I can actually mine stone underground instead of having to go and mine uh, cobblestone in a cobblestone generator. And looks like it broke. Let me just put it down here. Um, so, this basically does not have any ores because um, I did not add inside the tiny, inside the preset, I did not add the, um, if I had, if I had added the word decorations, it would allow ores to spawn in here and we would get dirt to spawn underground, we would get ores to spawn underground, but I did not want that because then that would defeat the purpose of this super flat survival. I'm trying to get make it as hard as possible, as little resources as possible, so we'll have to grind away the resources and this is still going to be fun when we get these a mob, when we get that mob grinder going, we're going to have so much stuff. We're going to have carrots, we're going to have um, iron, we're going to have um, gunpowder, we're going to have um, we're going to have bones, arrows, um, and just bones, uh, and bows, and arrows, bone meal, and all of that good stuff. Now I'm wondering, guys, I, I'm so glad that no mobs have yet spawned underground here. Which is very, very great. I prefer to make my mob grinder out of cobblestone because I just think it's stronger and more efficient. And it's just aesthetically pleasing because if it's just a flat, barren wasteland full of sandstone, I don't want to be building my mob grinder of sandstone. For it to look good, I will have to have it be another block. And the two most common blocks in this map, in this, um... Super flat survival, our cobblestone, well actually stone, because the stone spawns, it simply just turns into cobblestone when I mine that, but probably everybody already know that, so anyway. Um, so the most uh, two common blocks in this map are uh, stone and sandstone, but I just prefer to use cobblestone for my build of my mob grinder. And alright guys, I'll just continue filming when I get enough cobblestone. I probably already bored everyone out already to the point that probably most people aren't even watching. But if you are watching, props to you because I don't get much viewers. So anyway, I'll see you guys in a while. Well, it's going to be a pretty long time for me, but it's probably going to be like a millisecond for you. Hello guys and welcome back, and I have been mining all of this out for quite a long time. Now unfortunately all my pickaxes um, ended, so I couldn't make it completely round. I have this little um thing sticking out right here, but this is all oh, this huge room. This, it yielded 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It, this yielded 12 stacks of cobblestone plus the 20 cobblestone. Well, now that we are all out of pickaxes, I had to actually block this part off because it was nighttime while I was mining. Um, it was like nighttime just now while I was mining, so I did have to block that part off a bit. Um, and I did have to mine it out with hands because I all my pickaxes ended. Now, I'm not sure if my tree has grew yet. Um, I, I, do, I don't know if it has grew yet. I hope it did, because we are, like, all out of wood. All we have is just one um, oak wood plank and one stick, which is pretty useless. And no, it has not grown yet. So, yeah, let's plop our crafting table back down. And let me see. And, oh, my God, it is just becoming night now, which is pretty bad for us. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lock this off right here like this because what's gonna happen is there's gonna be a ton of mobs spawning down there and neither of us want that but I'm still just gonna put a small area right here just in case I actually look down but no mobs will be able to get down from here uh, I mean to get up from the 
bottom dark room and 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 believe me guys there is going to be a ton of mobs there like even even with iron armor on we're probably going to die if we go down there next time so i'm definitely concerned about that but right now we have to get to our grinder building and this is i think this should be enough cobblestone and if we do run out of cobblestone i will have to use sandstone but then that's gonna look really bad i'm gonna if we run out of cobblestone to do the slabbing on the ceiling i will use sandstone slabs instead of cobblestone slabs it, it won't really mess it up aesthetically because well we're not gonna like we're not gonna be seeing the roof very often but now that the sun is setting i think what we um what i do best is just wait over the night like i'm, I'm just gonna that's what i'm gonna do i'm going to like right here and yes guys i'm playing on normal what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna bury myself in like this and like and like this so what i'm gonna do is now i'm just gonna wait for the night to come and then for the next day to come because first thing in the morning what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna get to building my mob grinder and i think this episode has been going on long enough so this was my kralix i hope you enjoyed my video and see you all in the next episode, which I will be filming a few minutes from now, because I can't wait to get to my mob grinder filming, to my mob grinder building and, and film it. So, this one, I'm Kralix, I'm out, see you all in the next episode.